Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to download all the files from a folder that is on FTP server to local folder by using SSIS package. Now what we will learn in this pa package or video how to create an, an SSIS package from very basics then we are going to learn how to create variables in this SSIS package and save the local folder path as well as the remote folder path with some wild card for our FTP task. Next we are going to use those variables and use the FTP task to download those files from FTP server to the local folder. Now let me show you folder that I have created on my machine here on desktop I have this local folder I can call it anything input folder uh, download folder whatever you want to call it you can call it N and the other part what I want to show you I have FTP IP address uh, of my server that I'm using so I copy this one you can use the IP address or you can use uh, the name uh, such as uh, here you see this one ftp.yourcompanyname.com or whatever you have it if uh, I will copy this uh, and go to the Internet Explorer or any other Explorer I can paste it here it's gonna open FTP server for me and I can drill uh, through the folder here are some files in the test folder now if I will take the same path and uh, go to the SSIS package uh, and uh, we will paste that and see what happened now if you are using SSIS uh, 2005 or 2008 you have to open the bids uh, and I am using uh, SSIS 2012 so I have to open the uh, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools once uh, you open the solution uh, right click here on SSIS packages and create a new SSIS package and here we have to get uh, the FTP task so we got the FTP task and that's what we will be using and let me show you about the connection what I was talking about so once we open the FTP task editor here we have FTP connection and uh, we have to click on drop down new connection and uh, provide the path of server or server name we have to provide it here then uh, server port if it is different from 21 you can use that one here you have to provide a username and then provide the password so then hit test connection if uh, uh, it works fine if it doesn't work uh, you might get some error like this uh, connection cannot be established server name port name uh, port number or credential may be invalid so nothing is in, invalid actually we are putting this FTP colon backslash 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 that's what creating problem so in FTP task we have to provide only the IP address or say FTP dot your company name dot com so we don't don't have to provide a FTP FTP colon backslash backslash avoid that otherwise you will get that error and you can spend some time uh, researching uh, oh what happened why is not uh, opening it even I can open my server here on the explorer but it's not working in a SSIS so that's uh, the that's the error you get uh, and uh, we learn about that how to avoid it so now it is successful we are all good hit ok we are gonna configure that later first of all let's create two variables one variable will create for the local path so we'll call it local path folder or folder path local folder path sorry and then here we have to provide the data type that's going to be string as we will be same in the path of the folder so I'm gonna copy this one and then go to the SSIS package provide the folder path next uh, what uh, we need uh, we need uh, if we go to the file transfer here we need to provide the remote path uh, so we can click here and uh, it will show us all the folders uh, on the FTP server so here we have test the folder that's fine as we want to get everything uh, from that folder so we have to say backslash asterisk dot asterisk so this is a wild card you will be using the first asterisk here on the left side what you see that means all the files 
with all the name doesn't matter whatever the name of that file is and then uh, we have dot uh, and here is extension part so you are selecting uh, every file that can be any extension but uh, if you want to select only text files uh, so you will say asterisk dot txt if you want to select excel file you will say asterisk dot xls or xlsx so that's how you will do do to uh, filter those file types here we're selecting all those types so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy and cancel this out create a new variable why i'm creating a variable because the my requirement can change anytime and uh, i can change the value of this variable and i don't have to change the package or open the package anymore so i will say remote folder path and here is going to be string as well provide this one here and now asterisk dot as to mean everything from that folder from test folder we will copy to this let's go to ftp task now go to the file transfer and here we are saying is the local path is a variable we are saying yes and what is that variable we call it local folder path because that's where we have saved the path of our local folder now we are not sending files we are receiving files so in this case we will be selecting the receive files so we got that operation next is a remote path variable yes it is we have declared created the variable and we are going to use that and it is called remote folder path now hit ok we are all set go to the folder we don't have anything here refresh it but here on the FTP server in test folder we have all these files so you we have a .dtx file we have text file we have xlsx file we have text file here so we have tra trace file there are tons of uh, different type of files here which you can see now let me run my package it should download all those files uh, to the local folder so it is running it took some time it completed stop the package come to the folder and we see all those files are here next uh, I'm gonna delete all those files but let me show you one more thing before I delete it so here in the file transfer right now if we run this package again it is gonna fail because overwrite file at destination is set to false it means it is not going to overwrite the files so if we run it again it will fail until it will say unable to receive files using FTP connection and it is happening because the files are already there and it cannot overwrite them so in your scenario if you want to fail that and say okay if the file is there I don't care I just want to fail the package and if you have a scenario or requirement where you want to overwrite with the newly files so you can select this one overwrite file uh, add destination to true and hit ok now if we run it the files will be overwritten and you can see the time will change so now we have 214 and if I run this one it should be changing those time it will be overwriting those files stop it go here and now we have a 215 so that's how the files will be overwritten one more thing I wanna show you I'm gonna delete everything and then uh, here remember I was telling you we are using these variables uh, so also uh, we should change the name of the package we should call it uh, pkg underscore download all files and uh, we learned that how to use the wildcard and here I'm gonna change or make some uh, changes in the variable value and load download only text files so instead of downloading everything let's say your requirement does change and you wanna download only dot txt file so you can change it the extension asterisk means everything from the file name and then you have a dot and in the extension you will be looking for only text files so all the text files only okay run the package it completed successfully go to the folder and we see that only the text file or text files are loaded downloaded and we did not even touch excel file or trace file that is on the FTP server 
and we didn't download it if we want to download only trace file we can do it so we don't have to make uh, any change in the package anymore we will just pass the value to the variable by using configuration in SSIS and uh, we can download any file and we can change it according to the requirement so we can filter those uh, different things by using these uh, values so let's uh, run the package again now it should download only trace file and we can go to the folder and uh, we downloaded only trace file let me go back one more time and show you the variable we have asterisk dot trace here on the FTP what I have I have customer files so if I wanna only download the customer file even their Excel and I can I want to download anything that has customer at a starting and then a rest of that can be anything so I wanna uh, download those files how I can do that so here I will go to the variable value sorry go to variables here I will say customer customer and then uh, I can use asterisk uh, and then say dot and then I will say asterisk so let's see if that work so what happened anything that star starts with customer and then rest of the part I don't care that can be anything that can be underscore as underscore uh, na underscore date or whatever I want to download everything so let's uh, run this one so we it ran successfully now in the folder we should have that those files only the trace file was already there so let me delete this one one more time show you it did not download the trace file it only downloaded the files which has customer and the first uh, uh, name and uh, that's what you can see it downloaded every file that has customer and doesn't care about the extension or the rest of the part so that's how you can use the wildcard to download all the files from the FTP server folder or you can use some specific uh, files according to the extension or the name and uh, that's how you can download different files thanks very much for watching this video and if you would like to set up uh, your own FTP we have the videos on how to set up FTP server by using Windows 7 or Windows 2012 and you can make use of those videos and learn and create your FTP server and perform all these demos what I'm doing here. Thanks and I will see you in next video.